Well, we're out here at Clackamas Community College and we are at the Arboretum in the Home Orchard Society area, which is a, a whole area just in the Arboretum. And I'm here with Tanya. And Tanya, tell me what you do here. Hi, I'm the manager. Oh, lovely, lovely. Yeah. So we're gonna be talking about grafting, but while you start in on it, why don't you tell me the first thing you're gonna do here and, and begin the grafting, then we'll talk more about it. Okay, so uh, there's two parts to grafting. We've got a root stock, and then we have a scion, which is our desirable variety. And today we're using Spartan apple. And do you, do you, what kind of root stock do you generally use here? Um, we use about five different kinds of root stock. Um, this one is called M27. This is our most, most dwarfing root stock. Okay, so then you start in on showing me the cutting stuff, and of course I'll ask questions okay. as we go along. But sounds good. Um, so you do you do you grow this rootstock too, or do you buy it in? We purchase this rootstock from people who are licensed to grow rootstock. Okay, okay, and then you're just you're just cutting. That's just a flat yep. cut, isn't it? That's so. just a flat cut, and I'm just cutting it down. And what I'm going to do is called a cleft graft. Okay, and so I've got a little safety here and my grafting knife. And I'm just going to go right down the center and make a slot in the rootstock for that scion or desirable variety to slide into. So about three quarters to an inch. And I see why you have a protection thing there Definitely. too. Definitely. <laughs> yep. Sometimes we, uh, we don't want any wounds today. And so you're just, you just split it in half. I just split that in half. And so I made a slot. And then this is my scion, my Spartan, the apple variety. And I'm going to make a wedge kind of like a pizza slice right right to slide right into that slot and then do you are these wedges that you're using have you grown these here or do you also buy those in do you get them from the trees in the so area? most people that don't have the variety that we have will have to purchase their scion wood okay we've got this variety here so I just go out clip a one-year-old shoot from off of the tree and that's what we use as our scion material our propagation material so tell me while you're doing this why do people graft so the root stocks can impart certain characteristics on our desirable variety. One of those things is dwarfishness or size. Right. Um, they also will impart some disease resistance and ability to withstand different soil types. And also, most importantly, seeds from apple trees or most of the fruit that we grow and eat do not come true to type. Okay, so that this way at least you'll know if you're grafting, you're going to get the, the fruit that you're grafting exactly. on. All right. Exactly. And then. I'm assuming that there's something you put on that besides just sticking it in there now, isn't it? Yeah, there? basically. So we've got that slot, we pushed it into the, uh, into the root stock, and we lined up the cambium. And so that's the vascular system of the tree, and that's just right underneath the bark layer. And then after that is lined up, we've got a band that will seal this, and then we've got some stuff called, uh, we call it goop in the industry. Um, it's a grafting seal. It's kind of like a liquid band-aid for trees. And then you put that around, after you wrap it, you put it on, or you put it on before you wrap we it? We put it on after, after we wrap, and then we dab the top. We just don't want any of those cut portions to dry out. And then tell me about what, what's happening. Uh, that's coming up with you guys. Oh, one of our big <laughs> events is coming up this weekend. Um, this, set, this Sunday is the uh, fruit propagation fair, the spring propagation fair. So we'll have thousands of sticks of different varieties of apples, pears, plums, peaches wow. um, available for attendants to um, take home with them. Wow. And is there going to be people here that, that you know, will answer questions about grafting if, if they Definitely. need Definitely. We've got our expert table set up. We've got mason bees for sale, fruit socks, anything fruit related. Right. Um, we'll also, you can also get your trees grafted there. When uh -huh. you pick up your stick, you can take it over to the grafting table, pay $5, oh. and $5 for a root stock, and they will graft you a tree right Wonderful. in front of you. Wonderful. Well, for more information on this great event, of course, we'll send you over to gardentime.tv. You can click over to their website. Plan to come out and enjoy and maybe get some uh, fresh grafted fruit that you can plant in your own garden. Thank you so much, Tanya. You're so welcome. <laughs>